What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Another comparison today and this time we're comparing the brand new iPhone 11 to the somewhat brand new Galaxy A30. Now the A30 has been out for a couple months now since about February, March. It came out around the same time as the S10 which I didn't even know and I'm kind of going back and revisiting some of these older Galaxy devices which the A30 is not even an old device but it's one that I barely even knew about. Like I was looking up like most top selling phones of 2019 and the A30 was like one of the best selling phones. It outsold the S10, it outsold like the iPhone XR or I think some other phones like that. I'm like, dog, that is crazy. I have to go and compare these now. <laughs> so the Samsung Galaxy A30 came out, like I said, around in February, March. The iPhone 11 came out just, you know, like a couple months ago. And both of these phones are kind of reaching different demographics, but kind of the same thing in a way. So the iPhone 11 is like Apple's budget phone. The Galaxy A30 is Samsung's like budget phone. Their whole entire A line is kind of like that. And we got some crazy cool news that the A30 will be getting One UI 2. I wasn't really sure how these A devices kind of work in terms of software updates, but I'm super happy that it is getting the next version of software. Now looking on the front, the iPhone 11 has a 6.1 inch liquid retina IPS panel. That panel is 828 by 1792 and it's a pretty good panel at the end of the day. I feel like it's you know, I feel like when the iPhone XR came out, I was kind of like underhyping it. I was like, dude, it's not going to be good, this and that. But the software enhancements like True Tone and all that, and that Apple was able to do with it is actually pretty impressive. And I think that the iPhone 11's display isn't as bad as, you know, initially thought. The Galaxy 30 on the other hand, has a 6.4 inch Super AMOLED display. That one is 1080p. And even though it has a higher PPI, even though the screen is a Super AMOLED and it's high resolution, I still kind of like the iPhone 11's display for the fact of the viewing angles and just the way the display looks. I feel like the iPhone 11's display just looks better in a way. It looks less like pixelated and there seems to be a noticeable air gap between the glass and the actual LCD on the Galaxy A30 versus the iPhone 11. So that is a humongous thing to note when you're you know messing with the device. That is one thing that I was able to notice right off the bat. So really both displays are good but the, I do believe the iPhone 11's display is better. But the A30 does have overall less bezel around it than the iPhone 11. There's no notch, technically speaking. There is the Infinity U display, but it's not like a full-on notch like the iPhone 11. USB Type-C on the bottom of the A30 as well as the headphone jack. The iPhone 11 only has a lightning port. Dual camera setups on both of these devices, which is pretty impressive. Fingerprint sensor on the back of the A30. And in terms of the outside, that's, that's really pretty much it. The iPhone 11 does have IP68 dust and water resistance, which is a really, really cool thing. I love seeing that type of functionality on a device. The A30 does not have anything like that, but the A30 does have a micro SD card slot, which is a super cool thing. And if you're picking up a device, that's even a budget phone, having the option to expand that storage is so vital and so important. So you do have that capability with the Galaxy A30. Now talking about software, like I said early on in this video, the Galaxy A30 is going to be getting the next version of software. It's going to be getting Android One UI 2.0, so Android 10. And I think that's awesome, but really it still doesn't even come close to the iOS support and the support that Apple gives their, their devices. The iPhone 11, you know, started off with iOS 13. It's going to get 14, 15, 16. I don't even know. Like it's going to go on forever. And pretty much your phone will start failing. The hardware will start going out before the software starts going out or probably. So in terms of software, the iPhone 11 will definitely win. There's really nothing for me to say that the A30 will win on native support. I will say though that custom ROMs, everything like that, because the A30 is such a, you know, huge device in terms of selling. A lot of people bought the A30. There has to be a huge development community behind it as well. A lot of people still want to maintain this phone. So without a doubt, I'll definitely tell you, even though the iPhone 11 will win in native stock support, the Galaxy A30 is right there behind it in terms of custom ROM support. So that pretty much covers that. Let's go ahead and move on to the performance side of things. Now I did do a speed comparison, but I'll tell you the specs beforehand. The iPhone 11 has the Apple A13 Bionic chip, a hexa-core CPU with four gigabytes of RAM, where the Galaxy A30 has the Exynos 7904 chipset, an octa-core CPU, with three gigabytes of RAM on the base model and then 64 gigabytes of RAM on the top tier model. On my specific model, I have three gigabytes of RAM. So with that being said, let's go ahead and see which one is the faster phone between both of these. All right, everyone, welcome to the comparison part. I have basically the same exact apps on both these devices. So let's go and get started. Let's do both a three, two, one. If you can't tell, the 830 is on the left. The iPhone 11 is on the right. As you can see, the iPhone 11 was a little bit slower than the A30. That was really weird. I wasn't expecting that. Let's do Twitter. Three, two, one. I thought I clicked it at first, but I didn't. The iPhone 11 was faster on Twitter than the Galaxy A30. And one thing I can see off right off the bat is the iPhone 11's display does look a little bit warmer, which I kind of do like. Let's do Fruit Ninja. 
three, two, one. And you can see the iPhone 11 loaded it up fully. We're still loading on the A30. Yep, as you can see, eventually we do get into it on the A30. Took a little bit of time though, and again, I want to note, look how much screen real estate you have to play on the iPhone 11 versus the A30. It seems like these things are really cut off here. So, you know, even though you have a kind of a bigger display on the A30, you still have more playing area on some games on the iPhone 11. Thank you. Three, two, one. And the iPhone 11 beat it again. Getting into some gameplay, you guys will be able to tell it's like almost the exact same game, not that much of a difference here. A stack, 3, 2, 1. And the iPhone 11 loaded into the ad first. Temple Run, 3, 2, 1. And I will probably be in a game in both of these, so I'll have to restart. Yes, I'll have to restart here. Temple Run again, 3, 2, 1. And as you can see, the iPhone 11 is already ahead of the A30. And you can see the iPhone 11 beat the A30. Let's get into some gameplay, see if there's any differences or anything like that. And they look about the same. There's not, I mean, this is a very basic game. This is like the worst game to compare because it's like runs fine on any phone. Let's do Snake versus Blocks 3, 2, 1. And the iPhone 11 beat it again. You know, I'm, I was expecting kind of the A30 to be more faster in a way, but it's still a pretty fast phone. I mean, if the iPhone 11, which is still one of Apple's fastest iPhones phones right now anyway, and if the A30 is even somewhat close, that's still pretty impressive. Temple Run 2, 3, 2, 1. And the iPhone 11 is already ahead of the A30. A30 is still taking its time. We're already loaded on the iPhone 11. And then, okay, we're now just started loading on the A30. It's pretty crazy if you ask me. I mean, of course the A30 is still very good and everything, but you know, I don't know. It took kind of longer there, in my opinion, than it should have. Let's go ahead and get in some gameplay, see if there's any differences. And again, no stuttering, no nothing, so they're about the same when it comes down to it. Netflix 3, 2, 1. And the A30 did get into that one faster. Okay, I don't have Instagram on here anymore because I had to download that Plus Plus app. Let's do Real Racing 3, 3, 2, 1. Hopefully we don't have to download anything on either of these phones because that's going to screw up this whole entire comparison. <laughs> and the iPhone 11 loaded into it faster than the Galaxy A30. The A30 is still loading. It's taking a long time for that one, but the iPhone 11, we're already up and playing. We can go ahead and play with this one if we want to. A30 is still loading, and then eventually we get into it on the A30. So to kind of sum up this whole entire comparison, dude, I think the Galaxy A30 is still pretty impressive for the price. That last one for the Real Racing 3, that was actually pretty late. I don't know what happened with the A30, but overall, I mean, I like the iPhone 11. It's a tremendous phone for the price and everything. But the Galaxy A30, for what you're paying for, you know, you're not spending $5,000 on this thing. You're spending like a hundred or a couple hundred dollars on it, which is a pretty good price. And it's still pretty competitive to the iPhone 11. So that's pretty much it for the speed comparison. Let's get back to the whole entire rest of it. Now that we're back, let's go and hit on the cameras. The iPhone 11 has two 12 megapixel sensors, a wide angle lens and an ultra wide sensor. The Galaxy A30 has a 16 megapixel sensor as well as a five megapixel ultra wide sensor. I'm not too sure why they made the ultra wide sensor smaller megapixels, but it is what it is. And in terms of pretty much every single which way you look at it, the iPhone 11's camera is better. And even though the Galaxy A30 has a higher megapixel count on the main camera, that doesn't necessarily mean everything. The quality, the everything, the camera itself are better on the iPhone 11. You're able to do 4K at up to 60 frames per second, where you cannot do that on the A30. I don't even think you can shoot 4K videos on the A30. The really only main advantage that the A30 has going for it is the actual camera UI. It seems to be a little bit better, in my opinion, than the iPhone series. I think that has a lot to do with just the features that are built into the Samsung Galaxy camera. It uses pretty much the same exact one as the Galaxy S10. The iPhone 11 is just, you know, it's the same old, same old. There's not really many things you can do with it, not really that many features. So between the cameras, I'll definitely tell you the iPhone 11 definitely wins in the camera department over the Galaxy A30 in my opinion. On the front, 12 megapixel sensor on the iPhone 11, 16 megapixel on the Galaxy A30, and again, easy win for the iPhone 11. 4K is 60 frames on that front camera as well, so that's pretty crazy in my opinion. 
Now hitting on the battery life, the Galaxy A30 has a 4000 mAh battery, the iPhone 11 has a 3110 mAh battery, and between both of these, I think that the iPhone 11's battery is a little bit better than the Galaxy A30. I attribute this a lot to the screen itself. It's a smaller screen, but also lower resolution, but also Android, I don't know, it has a lot of clunkiness going on with it, especially even with One UI. It sucks up a lot of battery. Between both of these phones, I would definitely say that the Galaxy A30 has pretty good battery life, but the iPhone 11 is just a little bit better, I would imagine. So to kind of sum up this whole entire comparison, dude, I think the iPhone 11 is overall the better device. I think it, you know, it's faster than the Galaxy A30. It's seems more practical, software support is there and everything, but I do understand that the iPhone 11 still costs like $699, over $699. The Galaxy A30 though costs what, like a couple hundred? You know, you can pick this thing up on Amazon for probably like 200 something, and you're still getting a lot of phone there. You're getting a bang for your buck. It's a really good value. There are some quirkiness with it. There are some weird things with it, but overall, I do think the iPhone 11 is the better device, but the Galaxy A30 for the value of dollar, it's a pretty decent device too. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, leave it down in the comments comment section below. Hit that like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so that means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well, my Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel, all those things are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out, but more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.